It all started with my YouTube comment section. Can you build something that hovers? Build a hovercraft or build a hovercraft. Build a hovercraft. Build a hovercraft. Fine! I'll build a hovercraft. Now don't get me wrong, I've kind of always wanted to build a hovercraft, but I didn't know how to, and I don't think that these guys do either. So considering I had no idea where to start, I was pretty sure I was just out of luck. Uh, what am I gonna do? Why you wanna build a hovercraft so bad anyway? Build a hovercraft with S. I mean, dude, it's a hovercraft. It's gonna be super cool. It would be cool. I don't know, just look it up on YouTube. That's a solid idea. So I started watching some videos on hovercrafts and it just wasn't making any sense at all. I was just beginning to think that building a vehicle that literally flies across the ground was a bit above my skill set. Yeah, this is beginning to look nearly impossible. I mean, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not an electrician, I'm just a dude in a garage. I was beginning to think that this was completely hopeless, but then... No way! I found my answer. This dude made a hovercraft in his garage, and I had them all figured out. I think I know how to make this work. I'm gonna need a few things. I'm gonna need a tarp, a leaf blower, and a piece of wood. I should have stacked these the other way. Okay, so how this is supposed to work is you take a piece of wood, you cut it to size, you cut a hole in it so you can put the leaf blower in it like this. And then you wrap the tarp around the bottom of it, creating a bubble. And then you poke a bunch of holes in the bottom of the tarp and that's supposed to make it float across the floor, I guess. No, I don't know if that's actually gonna work. But that's how they said to do it on the internet and everything on the internet's true, right? No. Okay, now I've got some ideas to make this hovercraft absolutely insane, but I don't even know if I can get this board to hover yet, so I gotta build a prototype first. Okay, now that we've got a platform, we gotta cut a hole for the leaf blower. Now I love comments encouraging me to build something, but there was one comment in particular that really stuck out to me. I'm just not sure what he means by or else. Okay, let's see if this does the thing. So I poked some holes in the bottom and it was good to go. Okay, so this is actually working, which is nuts, but the second I put any body weight on it, that happens. Yeah, that or it just slowly deflates like this. So I'm gonna poke way more holes in the bottom and see if that helps. Okay, let's try this again. Oh God, I almost ate it there. So this thing is tons of fun, but unfortunately not even close to being a real hovercraft. Like I gotta figure out where I'm gonna sit, a way to propel forward. But before I get to any of that, I gotta, you know what, it is freezing in here. Okay, before I get to any of that, I wanna get this to balance better. And just like that, with one simple modification to the hovercraft, I was able to increase its balance stats by 12, allowing me to successfully ride it across the floor without any trips to the hospital. Okay, that works way better, but we've got some structural issues. So because this board has sharp corners, it's starting to rip the tarp. So obviously with big holes like this, the air keeps escaping, which is just not good. So we're gonna have to cut all the corners off our platform. Okay, so I went ahead and shaved down all the corners on the hovercraft and rebuilt it, but it still needed one thing, a smaller leaf blower. Twist it. Bop it. Bop it. Yo, how's it going, dude? Yo! What's up? Yo, would you still happen to have that flight simulator? Uh... Yeah, I still got it. It's in the shed. Oh yeah, this would be perfect. Oh no. Build a hovercraft with X. Yo, Soxus, can I talk to you for a sec? Sorry, dude. Band practice. Band practice. Here I go. I'm just blasting off alone. So Build a hovercraft with X. So, not much. We look alike. You wish. I got glasses. You got a hat. Yeah, I guess it does make us different. Yeah, I guess it does. Peace off. Hey! We doing this or what?
Dude, wait, I really gotta talk to you. Bro, I gotta go. But dude, I gotta talk to somebody like right now about something super important because I feel like I'm going crazy. I'm really overwhelmed and I, I don't know what to do. Dude, I totally get it. Listen, being a superhero, super stressful. And I did not know how to handle that stress. So this year I started BetterHelp and they really helped me manage my stress. And I think you should try it too. What's BetterHelp? Our sponsor BetterHelp lets you have therapy sessions as a phone call, a video chat, or even messaging. Hey, you guys talking BetterHelp? You use BetterHelp too? Dude, totally. Man, last year I was experiencing all sorts of new feelings. I was irritable and getting angry all the time. And my therapist helped me find a constructive way to process that anger through a hobby. So now I don't ruin my shirts. BetterHelp can match you with one of the 30,000 plus therapists in their network based off of your needs and preferences. Yeah, and in most cases, they'll match you with someone within 48 hours. And if you don't think your therapist is a great match, you can just switch therapists with the click of a button at no additional cost too. Do you think they could help you with navigating my fear of conflict in social situations? Dude, Dude, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, guys. My schedule's so hectic all the time. Well, with BetterHelp, you can schedule the sessions for whenever's convenient for you. All right, I'll give it a shot. What do I do? Just click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash Jake Carlini for 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. Hey, you guys coming or what? We gotta go. We gotta, yeah. Okay, if I can mount this right here and get this pipe to go directly into the board, That'll be sick. So by using some cool fittings I had lying around the garage, along with a PVC pipe, I was able to make this really cool angled pipe that goes directly from the leaf blower into the platform. But of course I had to first modify the leaf blower and I had to also modify the platform. But then it worked. Okay, so the gas leaf blower works like really good, um, like really good, but there is a couple problems with it. One problem being that it is like really, really loud. And the other problem is that the exhaust is like right here blowing into my face. I can't have that. The electric leaf blower is just the way to go, but this one is just too big. So my only option was to go in and order a smaller electric leaf blower. <sighs> Oh yeah, perfect. Still need to talk? Huh. And you think Jasper wrote this? I mean, like I said, he said the same thing in a YouTube comment. What do you think he means by or else? That's what I'm saying. I don't know and I don't want to find out. I'll talk to him. Dude, these are really small, super small. This is gonna be perfect. Okay, so this actually might work out pretty good. Like these are pretty like similar in size compared to this. Now I bought two just because I don't know if one's gonna be powerful enough to replace this. But I'm gonna start with one and see how that goes. Either way, I do have a pretty big problem. Mounting this here into the pre-existing hole brings me back to my original problem of having the leaf blower be totally in my way. So I am gonna have to build a new platform. That way I can mount these to the front. But before I start cutting holes and stuff into my new platform, I am going to see if one motor works on this. So I went ahead and replaced the gas leaf blower with an electric leaf blower and yeah, it, it didn't work. Okay, so this is way weaker than I thought it was going to be, and now I'm kind of nervous that two won't even do the trick. But there's only one way to know for sure. And there I was, back at square one, had to start the entire hovercraft over completely. But at least I knew exactly what to do this time, so I guess it wasn't all that bad. All right, at this point, I was starting to get fed up. I was doing my best to be optimistic about this. It was bad enough I had to start completely over, but now everywhere I look, I'm reminded that there's some psychopath out there trying to get a hovercraft out of me. What would someone want a hovercraft for anyway? I mean, other than the fact that they can hover and they're super cool. I mean, that's, that's why I want one. That's why I'm building one. I mean, there also might be a little bit of fear associated with the building of the hovercraft. Okay, so now we got two leaf blowers secured to the platform and we still got room for me on here.
Okay, so my two leaf blower strategy is a total success. Now this thing moves across the ground pretty good when I jump on and like push myself across the floor. So the only problem now is that it's not self-propelling and I want it to be self-propelling. So I have to figure out a way to make it self-propelling. What is this? When, when did this start being a thing? I, I know, I know I have them. If I'm gonna mount anything on the top of the platform, I have to screw it in through the bottom of the platform, which means I have to take the whole tarp off. Okay, not only does this thing look super cool, but it's actually working too. But it's kind of slow. And my knees kind of hurt. There's no like good seating situation here. Well, it still needed some work. That's for sure. Yo, Jake, what's up? So I went ahead and talked to uh, Chasper. He said that his account got hacked or something and he, uh, he doesn't know what a hovercraft is. So yeah, I don't think that he's the one behind all the comments and the notes. But if it isn't Chasper, then who could it be? No. So you finally figured it out, huh? You. What do you want from me? Come on, isn't it obvious? Oh, duh, the hovercraft, right. Yeah, well, that's only the beginning. The real plan is... Dude, he was just about to explain his whole plan. <sighs> yeah, anyway, as I was saying... It's Boxing Glove Guy! Boxing Glove Guy! And Andrew! You should probably get out of here. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's do this. That's for now, let me finish my sentence. Okay, first of all, 2v1, not fair. And you, you better finish that hovercraft. Or else. Or, or what? what? <laughs> You'll see. You know what? I am gonna finish that hovercraft. But not for him, for me. Cause it's super <laughs> rad. Uh, you know I'm still stronger than you, right? Didn't you just get knocked out by Red Dude? You wouldn't have beaten him if I didn't weaken him first. You wanna do this? Come on, have you seen my stats? I would destroy you. Prove it. If you say so. You're very strong, but you are very slow. What do we need? Well, we need some padding and we need more leaf blowers. On it. I finally had everything I needed to finish this hovercraft once and for all, and I was doing some thinking. I really shouldn't let other people pressure me into doing things. Like, the only reason I should have built this hovercraft is because I wanted it. Which I did, but I was definitely feeling some outside pressure. I'm just blasting off alone, so please ignore me. And at the end of the day, it's please my life, so me. I should be the only one calling the shots. And that's all I got. Here I go. I'm just blasting off alone. So please ignore me. Please ignore me. So here I go. I'm a few light years from home. So please ignore me. Please ignore me. So please ignore me.
What? I'm on my way. <laughs>